Hey, this is Martin here at HouseKnowHow.com. I, uh, I got a message on my website from Phil, who's right here with us. And uh, Phil said that he had an odor problem in, the, in a basement apartment in his house. And uh, he actually turned out to be local. Um, and uh, so I was able to come over to his house and take a look for him and see if I could figure out what was going on. And uh, so this is his home. It's a, it's a beautiful old 150, 130 year old home in uh, downtown Denver. And um, uh, uh, we looked around and I think we found his problem. We did find it. We did find his problem. So uh, let's go back uh, to his uh, apartment down here. So this is a this is a really horrible odor that. Um, Phil's renting this apartment out and his tenant has been here for a couple of months now and is, is complaining about this odor and he's ready to move out. I mean, it's just so bad. He can't stand it. And, um, uh, now that I smell it, I don't blame him. <laughs> but when I came in, uh, it didn't stink at all. Uh, we just didn't smell it. And Phil had, uh, this is the kitchen of the uh, basement apartment. And Phil had originally thought the odor was coming out of this. He had a can light fixture up in here. And he pulled it out and he's looking for mouse pee and mouse poop. Um, and uh, he just, he didn't find anything. We also looked around. There's, there's uh, behind this wall, there's... Uh, you know the furnace and water heater back here and um uh but uh we just don't smell the smell and phil's telling me how horrible this smell is and and we just don't smell it so um so let's pull this refrigerator out phil So we pull the refrigerator out and turn it so I can get back in there. And I knew it was an old um, refrigerator. And um, what I wanted to do is I wanted to get the refrigerator to run and see, uh, since it wasn't smelling in the moment, I wanted to, uh, the refrigerator run because I've I've seen uh, I've seen refrigerators before that uh, animals can get into and they, the the coils underneath the refrigerator are warm and so mice and you know whatever other rodents will get in there and they'll hang out and they'll pee and poo underneath the refrigerator. And so I was curious if I saw that here and saw that's pretty dirty down there. And I sure would have thought that it would, uh, if that was feces and urine, that it would just stink all the time. But it doesn't. So, so I asked Phil to get me a, a squirt bottle full of water and... I, uh, I, and we're still not smelling this odor when we pulled this back off. But the moment I sprayed water down onto this disgusting, goopy stuff underneath this refrigerator, the odor just wafted up and hit us in the face. And it's pretty darn horrible. And so... This is the origin of Phil's horrible or odor. Yeah. And, and what, we've been here less than a half an hour, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> In about a half an hour, 
Um, we figured out what the source is. All right, go ahead, Phil. So, Martin, I had a list of 15 things. I put an Excel spreadsheet together of 15 things that it might be. It included the furnace, the vents, the sump pump, the garbage disposal, the stove, underneath the stove. Of all the 15 things, I did not have the refrigerator on there. So I, I was sure it was one of the 15 things. I never would have thought it was something that I hadn't even considered, which was the refrigerator. So two little squirts of water on that thing instantly revealed the source of this terrible stench. And just standing in here, you can, you can still smell it. It kind of lingers yeah. for a good, it, it stays for 30 minutes. Right. And so after having done all these things with the HVAC company, the tenant said, look, I understand you're having Martin come over here and look at this, but I have low confidence that we're going to find the problem. We've tried so many other things. Right. And I said, you're right. There's no guarantee that we're going to find it. So that's kind of where we left it. Yeah. So I'd also uh, like to mention that they're not smelling this odor all the time. Yeah. And so how does water get underneath this refrigerator to, to activate the odor yeah. once in a while? And the reason is, is these are frost-free refrigerators and freezers, okay? And the way those work is they, they actually go through a warming cycle where they warm up the inside and melt off any frost that's occurred. And that frost uh, turns into liquid. It drips out and drips down into this pan. Okay, so once in a while when it goes through the defrost cycle, it, um, where's my flashlight? They, that the um, condensate that uh, was frost inside drips into this pan and then the odor uh, occurs. And there's a fan under here which is spinning right now um, with that fan, while it removes heat from the coils underneath the refrigerator, and, and that's how if, if you remove heat here, it gets colder inside. We don't need to talk about the refrigeration cycle, but uh, the fan also dries up the condensate, and that's what's blowing around this horrible odor. How long have you been working on this? Three months. Three months? Yeah, this wow. has gone on for three months. Okay, okay, yeah. wow. Sorry to hear it. Yeah. And, um, but it'll be fixed soon, huh? Uh, very soon, yeah. This right. refrigerator, we'll just completely replace it, get a new one, and problem solved. Okay, all right. Thanks, Phil. If you've got a problem you need help solving, go to my website, housenowhow.com, navigate to the contact page, and give me your phone number, an email address, and a description about your problem. And if I can, I will be in touch. Thanks for watching. That's it for another Problem Solved episode from HouseKnowHow.com. I'm Martin Newmark, signing off.